Oh boy, it's everyone's favourite subject. Maths. Or just maths. I feel like just math makes more sense because maths is like short for mathematics, I think, which is plural, but it's like treated like a singular thing, like we say maths is too hard, but we don't say maths are too hard. Then again, Americans tend to say math class, and in that sense math is an adjective because it's describing the type of class. Actually, I believe both of them are just short for mathematics class, so I guess they're both right. But to avoid any more confusion, I shall use the term mathematics class throughout the rest of this video. Anyway, this is a video about mathematics class, not English. So let's actually get back to the point of this video. So as you can probably tell already, I'm not a fan of mathematics class or mathematics in general. I've always just struggled with numbers, basically any situation involving numbers and not having a calculator, like, makes my head explode. But I wasn't terrible at everything in mathematics class. Basically, I don't know if it's like that at your school too, but in my final high school mathematics exam, it was split into two, calculator and non-calculator. With calculator, it involves more complex equations like things that require long formulas than non-calculator which were more simple and mostly addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, that sort of stuff, but with more simple numbers. Which sounds like the non-calculator one would be easier, which is actually true for most people. The rest of my class found it the easiest of the two, but for me, it was the other way around. You see, you have a calculator. This beautiful beautiful invention that just does the math for you. Thanks, China. They apparently invented the abacus in 3000 BC, which is the name of this rack thing with the beads, which is thought to be the earliest widespread calculator. As for the digital one, I think some company invented it. Oh no, I, I got bored and stopped looking. I just spent like 30 minutes researching calculators for a three second segment in my YouTube video. So as I was saying, with a calculator, all the hard work is done for you. All you have to do is remember which formulas to use in which situations. But when you don't have a calculator, you have to do everything in your head. And you can make notes on your test sheet, but other than that, you got nothing. And I don't know why, but I just suck at calculating stuff in my head. Even the simplest things, I really have to think about it after about 5 minutes of stressing out about it first. You know all these people who could do times tables like instantly? I don't know how they do that, like at all. In mathematics class my teacher would be like, okay for this equation we need a multiple of 6, so let's go over our 6 times tables. And the whole class spit out those times tables like bullets. 6, 12, 18, 24, with me in the background being like, 6, 12, uh, uh, 18, 20, 20, <laughs> like counting my fingers under the table. How do they do it so fast? Do they just memorize them all? How? And why did it seem like I was the only one who couldn't do it? Another thing I've always struggled with is analog clocks. And it has nothing to do with the Oh, kids can't read analog clocks anymore because they only grew up with digital. No, bro. Analog clocks are still a very prevalent thing in daily life. You know why? Because they're heckin' pretty. Show me one person who's gonna hang up a digital clock above their kitchen door. You can't fit a Thomas the Tug Engine face on that. And it still gets taught in schools. And I was like, the only one who didn't get it. I remember specifically the day that I was taught it in primary school. I remember the teacher bringing out this big plastic clock with movable hands and all the hours and minutes written on them. And I just looked at all these numbers. It was so confused. And I remember it so vividly. I think because I was shocked. Because normally I had no problems in school. I found it easy. But for the first time, I seemed to be the only one who didn't get it. Like, at all. When the lesson ended and we moved on to something else, I didn't say anything because I was too embarrassed to be the only one who didn't get it. So I just carried on with my life not knowing how to read analog clocks. And I used the school bell to track the time. I remember once asking someone what time it was and they were like, Dude, there's a clock right there. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, of course. Uh, I, I, I didn't see it. Uh, at that point, I knew something had to change. It wasn't normal for someone my age to not know how to read a clock. And I knew I was just going to keep getting into even worse embarrassing situations. So I went home. And I asked a close friend of mine for help. They were confused, but didn't make fun of me for not knowing, and helped me understand how to read them. So, now I know. I still don't get people who could just glance at a clock and instantly know the time. I still need a moment to work it out. But, you know, at least I could actually do it. And I realised it was actually a lot easier than I thought. It's kind of embarrassing to tell thousands of people that I didn't know how to read an analogue clock for a really long time, because I've never met anyone with the same problem. But I suppose that's why I'm making this video. Maybe you're in the same situation as me. Not even just with mathematics class, maybe you struggle with a different subject or something outside of school entirely. Point is, you're probably not alone. The thing is, people don't speak up when they have a problem. So it could be that you don't understand something and you feel like you're the only one. When in reality, other people don't get it either, but they're just too embarrassed to speak up. So don't think you don't will be embarrassed when you don't get something. Sometimes that just happens, maybe because of the way it was explained to you or something. I honestly had a really cool mathematics class teacher in high school. And if I just went to him and told him, you know, I, I find calculator stuff easy, but I really struggle when I have to do stuff in my head, he probably would have gladly helped me out. Cause that's his job, you know? And and who knows, maybe, maybe he's had a student in the past in the same position as me and has the perfect solution. So, uh, geez, how did this turn into life advice? I'm really sorry guys. I know you came here for your regularly scheduled several minutes of chip complaining about something and I apologize for disappointing you. So, uh, as I was saying, mathematics class is dumb because I'm bad at it. <laughs>